start inaugurating the first all india conference on secularism socialism and democracy the prime minister said i hope that this conference will think not only of the problems of secularism and socialism but how to give this information to the public at large firstly to those who are in educational institutions and make them feel committed and involved to spread the message to the very many who are unable to go to the educational institutions i think this is the practical side of your work to which i hope you will give some consideration there is much debate today about the basic features of our constitution i do not want to go into the constitution but i do not want to repeat what we consider the basic features of our political system we have opted for this we have not drifted in this direction we have chosen this direction after deep thought by the founders of the country by the leaders who were active in the independence struggle and who laid the foundation of what we can now call modern india and this was done after weighing every possible alternative they did so because they considered that this was the only way in which the country of the size and diversity of india could keep and strengthen its unity could have harmony and have a basis for progress and future prosperity now obviously the first was secularism because it means the equality of all religions it has never meant that we reject religion and this has not been just a modern concept but it is a very ancient concept in india indian philosophy has always spoken of the basic unity of all religions it has always stressed the fact that the paths to truth are many and as i said you cannot have equality you cannot have unity you cannot have strength in the country if any large group or a small group for that matter but specifically the minorities who form very large numbers feel that their lives are not safe that is the importance of secularism it is not just a theory it is a very practical necessity for the future of this country then of course the second point is the goal of socialism now again the importance of socialism is not that it is one of the systems that are available to us but in the conditions in this country it cannot be united it cannot be strong unless the concept of equality was spread to different economic groupings if there is a large section in the country which does not get justice or feels that it does not get justice there cannot be harmony or peace or progress also there can be no socialism or any kind of equality if there is no secularism so these are very closely linked so far as democracy is concerned it is a word which seems to encompass everything what is democracy democracy is ultimately the voice of the people it was only after the industrial revolution after education grew that little by little thoughts of equality liberty equality of opportunity and so on started these seeds were planted in the minds of ordinary people now the other danger to our democracy is that again i do not want to refer to comments and speeches made outside it has been openly admitted that countries who do not like particular regimes in other countries feel they are free to interfere we are not free to comment on something that happens which is of vital interest to us to our survival for instance what happened in bangladesh when 10 million refugees came here that was regarded as interference that was regarded as our wanting to destroy pakistan but a countries can take action and are taking action openly admitted not merely by press people who revealed secrets but by people who have themselves taken part in these operations that they feel that they are free to interfere they are free to interfere militarily they are free to interfere by economic pressure they are free to interfere by political pressure this has been admitted we are surrounded by dangers there are people in the world who are far more powerful than we are who want to change the sort of india that we want to build this is the major danger we are neither anti western nor are we pro soviet 
we take help from wherever we get it and i think there is nothing shameful in it provided we are not compromising any of our ideals or our policies or anything by getting this help but primarily we are working for india it is not our concern that other countries are doing within their borders